This Playmobil set 3841 from the year 1995. Box is here to see the difference in size for the Dragon Temple. Here we have the back with all the accessories. There's a lot of accessories. The ideas of what to do with the set and things and functions. That's how big this set is. There are so many areas to play with. So many things. I worked on pushing this bridge as close to the building as I could. And I pushed this area here as well. By doing that, now I can rotate and we can see... A 360 degree view of this base, this awesome temple, the Dragon Snake Temple, Snake Dragon Temple. Really, really amazing set by Playmobil. One of the greatest possessions that any Playmobil fan, Playmobil collector can have because look at the massive amount of accessories, the style of this awesome temple. And the things you can do with it, if you're a child, to play with this is just so much. You have these warriors that they fight for the dragon. There's a dragon on their shield, a green dragon. Then you have a evil witch or a warlock lady with all these artifacts on the sides there and cups and chalices. And then here you have the suspended bridge that takes you to rescue a princess in a crystal cage. Or some sort of crystal prison. Plus a panther in chains that is possibly the path of that evil witch. And not just that, but you have this whole structure to play with. And entryways in the back and archways at the bottom. It's just massive. Fantastic. As big as a castle, but it's not a castle. It's a temple. We have this prince and he can climb in this area here. Then he gets on the bridge. He can hold on to any of these areas here. The into this floor enough. He collapses. And now he holds it for his life. Where he, you never know what's under it. Maybe crocodile. So this poor man has to fight the black panther in order to save and rescue the princess. So once he kills the panther and hangs it by its neck on the tree. He learns that he doesn't have the key. And no sword, no force in the world can break through those cages because it's made of crystal. So he realizes that the key is hanging right there. The artifact of the great witch. So he goes all the way back. Brave knight trying to fight all of these dragon knights fully armed with maces and swords and axes. He destroys the forces of the great green dragon knights. The evil witch is immortal and he cannot destroy her. So he proceeds onto the side of the temple here where he climbs this great structure in order, in order to access the crystal sword up here protected by a, a golden dragonite. And eventually he defeats the golden dragonite by shoving a sword up his and retrieve the crystal sword to fight the great witch wizard. Crazy demonic mask throwing snakes at him. She sits in her throne and escapes by rotating this platform, showing him nothing but the symbol of the sun. As this platform has an opening, opening in the back and she can walk freely, Knight is free to retrieve the golden key. He brings the key to the doorway. Before they exit from this crazy adventure, she mentions the great secret of the witch. If you touch the wings of the dragons you open a secret compartment a golden chalice is hidden inside a secret compartment there's another secret area with a treasure so down here in the corner under the snake and remove this top rock here and there is a chest look at that coins and crowns and chalices and cups and everything else this uh dragon here rotates and you can play that it shoots something like Connectors here, one here, one there, and one over here that you can connect your panther so it can be in each side anywhere you want. There's also one right here. One of my favorite things about these sets is that it did come with an add on. You got three knights and a captain. You have this guy, this guy, and this guy that comes with a set, the evil girl. 
three more knights and another captain and here are all the accessories from the set 3841 weird looking bases that looks like a little throne but if you look at it close there is a star in there and a, a little adhesive a sticker that makes it even more shiny for those artifacts to be placed on there not just that but this chest here looks like any other playmobil chest but once you open you do have coins but it comes with a sticker that also shines up at the top there. All of the armor for each of these dragon warriors. There is this very unique looking helmet with a golden top there that looks like a dragon. And of course two bracelets, a golden sword. Then we have the dark metal bracelets with the greenish helmet. Plus two silver swords and two axes for each of the guys. Each also have a awesome looking shield. There's this fiery plate here. Uh, I've seen these in a Conan movie. You know, Conan the Barbarian. Then the crystal sword, another silver sword that goes into the holster of the prince. The owl. The owl can hang on a tree. There are the prince crown, the prince's crown, golden crown. That is a copy of the silver crown from the princess. And I think it's because you can switch it out and make her richer. There's also a golden candle. Three chalices. One is green, two red. There's a large chalice. It's where you place your, your cool, scary uh, mask. But if you take it out, you have a huge red chalice. You have the panther with a little neck thing that comes out. Bronze looking chain with a holder two snakes two red snakes a golden key the characters themselves backs look like this guy has a long hair they have green belts he has golden belt has a black belt also this uh, key holder with a little dragon emblem on it these are the, all the characters from all the sets from 1995 you get an army of dragon knights, you have a wizard, a witch, sultan with the magic carpet, another little wizard apprentice, the panther, a few princesses and god fairies and good fairies. 